Welcome to the zombie bunker. Got this new Glock 44 out today. Try to try it out and shoot it. Brand new. All I've done is take it out and look at it. Haven't fired it. Let's show you. I don't know if I told you. I got a couple videos on it, but it comes with adjustable back straps, which to me is unneeded. It comes with one, two magazines, lock, cleaning brush and rod, and owner's manual. And I never, own, I never even open an owner's manual with a little target sticker too. I never even own a, uh, open these owner's manuals, but I've seen somebody said that you need to uh, lube these before you shoot them. So I figured I'd just go here and look. The only thing I could find it said is you need to uh, run a clean patch down the barrel before you uh, shoot it, make sure it's clean. But anyway, like I said, uh, I already had one, this one here, with a blue tape on it. I put a piece of blue tape on it so you could differentiate them. The, this was the serial number 875 one. This one was what, uh, the 340. But like I said, 2,000 rounds through this one. It works great. Hadn't blowed up. You know, the slide ain't blowed up or nothing like that. I've been fooling around out here. I'm, I'm in about two and a half hours already just trying to get set up. And the, the light, I'm all shadowy. I hope this comes out all right. So I've thrown all my stuff down here on the ground and try to get the light right. And uh, my knees are cramping behind the screen. But anyhow, the new 44. I'm gonna try this one here and see how it runs. It might be, it might blow up. It might be a jam o -matic. You know, I only had one. You can't, one don't say how good anything. Two don't really, but I had to see for myself if maybe I just got a good one, you know what I mean? So I ordered extra mags, I done told y'all another video, so I did a little shooting. I don't have to load so much. And uh, I'm going to try to, I'll probably never, I don't know how I'm going to do this, to try to get this, shoot some, and split it up, or try to make two. Uh, see what I got left, I got a whole bunch of notes I want to go over about the gun. And go ahead and show y'all this stuff. I've already figured out one thing here. I, I, uh, it's just like, you know, Glocks are so simple. It's simplicity of what makes them awesome. But uh, the takedown on it, here's, this is a, uh, let me get these all confused, blue dot one. You know, size wise, it's exact the same size as a Glock 19. I can't see my screen good at all because of the sun. Hopefully, it's working for y'all. Exact same size. Trigger's really close. This is a 19FS Gen 4. They come, only come out one year, in case you're wondering what it is. But, it's uh, 23 and a half ounces, and this is only 14 and a half ounces. That's a huge difference. Uh, take, take one of these down, you know, you pull the trigger, you know, make sure the chamber is clear. Just slide back, pull the trigger, pull the takedown levers. Thing. Get it jammed up here. Let's just lay it to the side for now so I don't slow y'all down. It's hard to do that on the camera. One thing I noticed with these, uh, I guess it maybe the two I got, anyhow, you know, it's empty. I got this ammo set, sitting under just the, the ones I shot from the 2000 rounds. Pull the trigger, pull the takedown levers, and it won't come off. Well, to do these, uh, 22s, you got to take the magazine out. I guess uh, maybe they incorporated it into some type of safety feature. So somebody wouldn't try to take them down. Just off a little bit of information there. Anyway, oh well, well four minutes. Uh, all these rounds here, the, I had 300 rounds of this Federal Target. Uh, what do we have here? 400 rounds of that Federal 2236 copper hollow points. Two. Uh, the M22 Winchester, 200 rounds. I, I had a lot of weak rounds in that, and I uh, didn't like it. But uh, you know, one thing too on this ammo, you know, just because my box was weak, you know, this is bulk. Yours, you know, you might have a different outcome on your ammo. So you need to try them all on your gun. The Remington Golden Boys, uh, 
I didn't have but enough two marriage for them, so I couldn't really say good on that. They did run the 22 Thunderbolts. I had a lot, had a lot of weak ones with it. It's 400 rounds through it. Uh, this Winchester white box. We did 100 rounds it and had three fails out of 100. But I did notice this. Uh, get too much on here. But we'd uh, grab one of these. Uh, what we got here? Just see some guys. I think get one out. The hollow points are really large. Can you tell? On these uh, Winchesters. And they're more likely to jam on you to catch the feed ramp and the, and the tip of the magazine. Because a lot of people, like I said, don't, when you get to loading it, get them last rounds, you don't want to shove them down because you, you're asking for it to jam then. You know, keep them nice and stacked. It tells you in, in the block, tells you don't pull it all the way down and try to load it and all that stuff. Of course, you're going to get, you're going to ask for problems. But, let's see, what else we have? We had the Federal uh, 50 rounds, what was it, 100 rounds of Federal. I'm going to go over all this since I already in another video, but some people ain't going to watch, but just video. They all run fine. 22 stingers, which is 1,640, you know, versus all your regular ones are around, average around 1,200. They all run great. A lot, lot more powerful. I had uh, some mini mags, and they was bad on me. I think they're old, so I got a uh, new box here I'm going to try today. Brand new ones. Uh, run the Arms Corps. Uh... 36 grain hollow points. They, I run 150 around. I got a new box of them to try. And the Blazer 22s, these are 40 grain. I'm gonna try them today. Somebody want me to try some Agilia, and I don't know which type. There's a lot of different ones, but I grabbed the these here were uh, 40 grain 22 target competition. I think they're just lead bullets. And these here are 22 40 grain super extra standard velocity. I tell you, I'm, I'm gonna try them out. I don't know which gun I'll run them in, but I'll see. When I get to that, like I said, I ain't never shot this one. Hopefully, it's gonna run good. And I, I, another thing I tell you when I did mine, it, I've never through the whole 2000 rounds, I haven't cleaned it, oiled it, or nothing. I think I since I, I think I've done abused it enough, and I might go ahead and oil my uh rails a little bit instead of just you know i mean 2000 rounds but when i first got it in i thought it looked a little dry and i put a couple of drops of ballast oil on the slide rails you know right here on the rails i, I wonder if y'all can see how filthy this gun is somebody said uh you know 2000 rounds I haven't cleaned it it's, it's pretty gummed up and I, I honestly don't think it's going to get any dirtier i think when you start firing the rounds it, i mean the the other rounds it's going to start blasting the fouling away at a certain point even up here in the magazine wheel it's just feel i can feel the drag on the mag taking it in and out on this and after 2000 rounds but it still works fine still works fine okay what else we got at the new mags uh in case i forget this later on the cool thing about uh, these is it uses everything your 19 wheel. I didn't put the slide off of it. Let's get it back together here. Here's a Glock 19 holster. Right, it's actually a Glock 17. So if you get a Glock 17, you can use, uh, get the longer one with this open. You can use your 19, your 26, all your Glocks in it. Just for out there the range, you know, I would recommend for carry. Glock 19, Glock 44. Cool thing about it, uh, I'd get too much into that. Right now, I was just going over all the ammo I shot and how is this brand new one going to do? Is it going to run good? Is it going to blow up? Or is it going to jam? Well, I'll try to set it up and get a little bit of... I ain't going to film every bit of shooting. I'll try to get the some of this. Like I said, some new CCIs in. Try to get some of that. A little bit of shooting, maybe. To me, it's boring watching somebody shoot. You know, if they, you know, if they just shoot, I'll try to do, I'm going to try to set up some targets and do the accuracy. My eyes mean that great, but I'm at least an average shooter, so I'll see how that works out. Uh, and, uh, see if I can edit this together or what. Man, I'll be on this all day, I know. But anyway, hope I haven't left anything out for that you need to know. Uh, these are, should be 359. The, a lot of the places are price gouging. I had to pay uh, 
$3.95 for this one. I, and I was gonna just walk out, but you know, I, I needed it for this. But you know, like, like I told him, I said, I told him, I said, uh, I said, well, my regular dealer, you know, he just $3.59. He says, well, we can't do that. I said, well, all right, if you don't want to take $3.59. But well, I, I went, that was the first door I did walk out. And uh, anyhow, this, uh, set something up and try to shoot some more today and find out what another one will do okay and uh i'll get back with y'all i got uh 50 rounds of uh the cci mini mag uh copper hollow copper plated hollow point 36 grains at 1260 feet per second just run through this brand new serial number 340 340 glock 44 Hopefully it won't blow up on me. And uh, I, f I feel it best to start, you know, start with the decent ammo just to give it a fair shot. So I, I'm gonna try to get in here and, and put 50 straight rounds to it. First 10, run fine. I'm, I'm jacked up from a monster not eating, so if I'm shaky, I hate it, but we just see in here. All right, there's 20 straight. One more. Guess that hit the camera. I hope it didn't knock it off. I put this here. I'm trying to stay. I can't see what I'm filming, so there's 30. I ain't really aiming. I'm just shooting. There's 40. Man, I hope the camera didn't mess up. All right, 50 rounds. What do y'all think? It didn't blow up. It didn't jam. Hadn't touched it. Didn't oil it. I didn't forgot to check the barrel, like Glock said. All right. Let me load up some more. We're still recording? Heck yeah, I hope so. Is it recording? Hell no. All right. I went back and thankfully that was recorded and I was about to get upset. So I've loaded up 50, uh, five more mags of this more common bulk ammo. You know, it seems uh, to do good with the CCI, which if I was going to take it out hiking or something with me, I would definitely use the higher end ammo. Who wouldn't? But anyway, let's try some of these other ammos to it and see what happens. Point. Okay. 10 rounds of this blazer. I think it's, uh, shoot. I think it was 40 grain, wasn't it? My eyes are terrible. I believe it was 40 grain. All right, let's see what happens. And uh, majority of these are lead. All right, let's see. All right. Run them blazers, okay. Only 10 rounds, so I don't really tell you nothing. You need to show you a whole box of it. All right. Now we got uh, 10 rounds of Aguilia 22 Super Target 40 grains. Somebody wants some Aguilia. I don't ever, I don't know which one. There's so many different ones, but anyway. All right. 10 rounds of the Aguilia. Come on, Mark. Oh, that Aguilia felt weak. I could feel it in the slide. All right, let's get rid of that. Of course, you know, I picked this up from, oh, I just dropped it. I picked that up from a store. Who knows how old it is, how long it's been sitting on the shelf. Let's try that again. That thing's old box set. All right, this one here. Let's see if it'll finish them all. Felt weak. Mm. 
That didn't even fire. I bet it's old. I bet you it's old. All right, let's clear that one. Oh, I guess it'd help if I chambered around, huh? Probably. All right, all of them felt good. That first one that didn't, it didn't have enough power and it kicked the slide back. All right, now we got uh, 10 rounds of uh, Gilia. So I don't think it's obviously got nothing to do with 36 grain, 40 grain, whatever. That was uh, 40 grain, wasn't it? Yep, had a weak one in it. All right, now we got uh, 10 rounds. Man, I'm shaking. 10 rounds of 22 target of Gilia. Uh, what is it? Ah, I'm trying to figure it out here. 40 grain two. All right, let's see what it does. It went right. Mm, yep. Another one. See, it ain't the gun. Where'd that case go? I'm trying to look in the camera. All right. Another weak one in that. All right, let's rack the slide. It's just weak. Almost. Whoever wants it, this may be old. This could be old. See, because these here, are, these are firing much or strong. Yeah, I can feel it. That one didn't even have enough power to kick the slide back or lock it back. All right. Now we got uh, 10 rounds of uh, arms core, 22, 36 grain, copper, hollow points. I think they are. Yeah. I had fine luck out of the first magazine these to run, but let's see. Come on, marker. Oh, definitely stronger. I can feel that. Feels like. It almost feels like shooting the, uh, uh, daggone, uh, it's getting on my pair more like the stingers. Definitely, that's the best, feels the best I've shot yet. Okay, now I got 10 rounds of Federal Auto Match. See what it does. I had good luck out of this Auto Match. The other gun, this is the new one. All right, let's see. Somebody said that ammo wasn't good. Man, I've had good luck out of that. For bulk, I've had the best with this Federal. And I do believe you can find, get the arms core good. As far as these two, I don't know what their problem is. Maybe they're old, but weak. They was weak. All right. That just shows you, it ain't the gun. If you're having problems, it's, you got some junk ammo. All right. I'll load up some more. I don't know if I film it all. And, uh see what what the rest of it does Are we recording recording or not I, I guess it is I don't let's see let's see oh yeah my time's going okay I paused it and uh, I loaded up uh, 50 more rounds of the uh, federal which I just old bloke let's just shoot another 50 rounds of bloke and see what happens 36 grain at that it's 36 grain Okay. All right, ten. Twenty. That first shot felt a little weak. Thirty. Still enough to wreck or work the slide though. Oh man, if you think these things are junk, I don't know, man. Well, there we go. 50 straight rounds, 36 grain, cheap bulk ammo. 
This is the one with 2,000 rounds to it that hasn't been touched. I went ahead and put 10 more rounds in it just to see what it'll do today. Haven't shot it yet today. All right, that's 2,000 rounds untouched. What more can you ask for? I think Glock 44 is awesome. I made a mistake. I completely said this was 36 grain and it's 40 grain. I got to thinking this is the 36 grain. So I'm going to have to put another 50 rounds down. I've been out here shooting while I'm not filming, but... I got 200 rounds to it now, and it's running great. So, but I said that was 40 grain at federal target grade, and this box was 40. I said it was 36, and it's 40. So, all right, let me put 50 rounds of 36 grain down and see what happens. Oh yeah, in the camera here. Yep. Had a weak one there. Yep, that didn't pop the slide back. I don't know so much as it being any 36 grain or that was just a weak round. 10 more rounds, 36 grain. These are firing strong. That one didn't. I don't think I hit the slide. One more round. That one definitely felt weak. Yep. Didn't have enough fire to put, push the slide back. That's what I say about this bulk ammo. You don't know. Well, let's put the right mag back in. That was the last round too, wasn't it? Alright, ten more. The strong rounds are firing just fine. Hmm. Stove pipe. I don't know if I can say anything about that one. On that one too. Uh-oh. Maybe they got something there. Of course, the CCIs are 36 grain too. strong all those rounds felt strong so i don't know i might not grab some more 36s i don't know anyway what was i gonna do let me pause that for a second getting ahead of myself i think i only had four i had to go pick up another five maybe that was just 40 rounds i went and grabbed another five, uh another round and uh loaded up uh 50 more rounds out of a different box just see what that does i don't know maybe they got something on the 36 grain to me, it feels like they're weak, but let's fire them and see. They're going. Yep. All right. These rounds feel stronger, I'm telling you. That's what I'm telling you. Uh, you. You can't judge every box. Look at how these are running. Same ammo, a different lot. I'm gonna show y'all uh, while I'm doing this. I got a nine millimeter out here. We can tell. I'll shoot five rounds of this 22 and then five rounds of the nine. If we don't have no problems. Five. Nine millimeter. Definitely a lot more recoil. Four, uh, 22. Got flinch, didn't I? Nine. I'm trying to aim now. Oh yeah, hit the can at 35 yards. All right, this will make 50 rounds of 22.
See? It's not necessarily being 36 grain. I mean, it, there's 50 straight rounds. Same ammo, different lot. All right. That proves anything. That's what I'm saying. Don't go by just one box. I was thinking about going home tonight and, and finishing this up, but I'm going to see what I can do right here. I hate not to get everything I'm thinking on this video and even how to, even if it's even going to be way too long. But to sum up a few things about this Glock 4422, I, I, it, it, I honestly think it's an excellent gun. You, you can tell, like I said, you can see two different boxes of, the, of this ammo, 36 grain. One, one had weak rounds in it, the other box was fine. So you can't go by one box of ammo. Or 36, 40 grain. Uh, the arms core, I shot all the rest of them, run excellent, I, and by coincidence, I think I got, you know, this was gun 340, I think I finished up today with 340 rounds to it. The arm core, arms core is 36 grain, it runs great. Uh, the CCI, 36 grain, this is, if you wanted to carry, this is what you would carry it with you if you take the gun with you. Anyway, uh, I hired great ammo, you, don't take, you ain't gonna take junk with you. But for the gun itself, it's not going to take the, the place of you training with a 9. The, the recoil difference is just too much difference. I mean, you need to shoot with your carry gun. you got to practice with it too. But you can, nothing else, if this 22 gets you out shooting and gets you, you know, if you get trigger practice, you can get holstering practice, you can get weak hand shooting. And that's, if you don't ever try shooting weak hand, that's a lot different. You get practice with that. Uh, and I guess it, they advertise it as a hiking. I see it a lot on the hiking. I think it would be excellent to carry with you hiking with good ammo. It's so light. It weighs half, half what the machine does. Loaded, it weighs almost half. And you can carry a whole lot more 22 ammo than you can 9mm if you're just wanting. If you, you're going to be gone a while, he's like, you know, need to carry as much ammo as you can. You know, 22 is good enough. It ain't the best, but it's good enough. Uh, I, 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 I think it functions just fine. Every every round I had was the, 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 was a weak one. I had a problem was a weak one that didn't function to slide. And that's just that's just inherent in 22. And you can use that if you got a box that's going to have a weak one. You can practice clearing malfunctions. I mean, that's an excellent way to do it because you don't know when it's going to do it. I, and this this is the only gun i know of you know if you like glocks it, it, it works you know i mean it's it's made just like the rest of them you got the smith and wesson m p but it's not made it looks like an m p on the outside mp 22 but it's a completely different gun it's got a uh, uh these are blowback actually you know they're not locking breech like a nine millimeter where some people talk about the firing out of out of battery and stuff these are not locking breech pistols it's just blowback the slide is not really weak to pull back, so you can feel it slide. Uh, but that m and has got a, a, what do you call it, a, a fixed barrel. This here's got the barrel comes out just like you, you got 19. Anyway, I try to get all of what I'm going to tell you. It should be pretty decent. It should cover everything you need to know, I do believe. It's very, I think, very accurate. I had no problems with it shooting. I didn't adjust the sights. My eyes ain't that great, and I'm probably an average shooter. So I got some, I did do some, uh, make some targets here. i get that, make sure I don't get anything else. Uh, like I said, I think it'd be an excellent gun to take hiking because it's so light. Use good ammo. Uh, you can learn, you can learn your target and triggers, you know, target acquisition. This is a perfect gun to train people with. They, you know, the first time they shoot, a 9mm ain't got that much recoil, but if you never shot a gun, you're going to take this 22 a lot better, you know. It's definitely a good starter with. And, it, and if you got Glocks, you know, it, it goes with your rescue stuff. You can use, like I said, you can use your rescue holsters when you're out. Make sure to spend time with your carry gun, though. You know, if you don't, I, you need this. I don't tell you how many, but if you're carrying a gun, you need to get out at least, at least every other week or so, put 100 rounds to it at the minimum, so you can shoot it. But that's a whole other thing. Uh, 
Let me uh, make sure I get anything. Oh, the targets. I hate to do put this much time into it. Boy, I've been out here all day. Okay, this is the 875. Uh, let's see, the first group, 875. This is a, a 10 yards with 875 22. You can see, I mean, not too bad. Not too bad. I see most people doing seven yards. That's too close to me to try anything. But And this was with the, the Federal. Uh, no, it was the Federal 40 grain. The 40 grain. Not those. It was the 40 grain. Uh, target match. And that was the first group. There was the second group. This is 10 rounds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 rounds with that one. Uh... Let's see what we got here. Here's it 40 yards. Shooting it with 40 yards. And I use the CCI mini mag. They've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. At 40 yards, I mean, you can see how big this is. You know, and I'm not the best. That's not too bad for 40 yards. Sir, I need new glasses. And this here is the uh, 340. I shot it. This is a group at 10 yards with that uh, 40 grain federal match. Not too bad. It's pulling left a little bit, but but people say uh, got to hold low, got to hold high. I'm not seeing it with either one of these guns. I was just pulling left right here. It's my first uh, try. And you see here on the uh, second group. I mean, that's uh, pretty good for 10 yards. If anything, I'm shooting a little bit high. But anyway, my eyes ain't that great. Okay. This should I break all this up or ain't no way nobody's gonna watch. This will take me time I get up there and get all this edited. It'd be like what a 50 minute video or something and i'm probably not even saying everything like, and uh, when you load those rounds when you get down to them last ones don't push them down you'll make it you'll make a nose dive make sure you got them sitting up there tilted up you see i didn't i didn't have anything because i didn't know to load my mag right and like i said this uh 2000 rounds through this one uh i shot a little bit more today no problems and I think wound up, that's the that one, that's the 19, wound up with 340 rounds for that one. And the only problems I had was with that, I picked, got that box of weak ammo. And these Aguilias were weak. It ain't caused a gun. But, let's see. All right. Anyway, anything else? Excellent training gun, I think. Like I said, make sure, get out and use your gun. Your Whatever you carry, shoot it some. Because the recoil is just a little bit different. So, I mean, anything. If it gets you to the range, that's good. And for what it's defined, designed for, I think it's excellent. Let's uh, see. Uh, hope I covered everything. Uh, I don't know much what else to say. I, I don't see no problem with 36 grain ammo. Uh, my slide, uh, two guns, neither one of them slide blowed up. I didn't think that was going to happen anyway. But I wonder if we ever hear what extra, extra happened there. I'm curious about that. Uh, I think it's well worth it. Well worth it. Good gun. I, uh, if a Glock's ain't your thing, you, I mean, there is a TX-22. I have never shot one. I have to get one out and try it because I don't, I don't like tours, so. uh But I might would try one. It's like $50 cheaper or maybe even $100. i am not sure. Maybe. But anyway, if you're not a Glock fan, you don't have to be. But for what it is, it's excellent. And that's the one thing they Glock didn't want to do something like this because they know everybody's gonna be like, oh man, no way, it's not 100% reliable. Of course not. It's a 22. You know. Anyway, uh, get to the range, get some shooting in, at least once in a while. And if you're thinking about this gun, I think it's, I think it's excellent. It's got a lot of capabilities. A lot you can learn with it. A lot, a lot you can do with it. And okay. The wind started blowing everything away and I had to grab everything, but anyhow, I hope I got everything in this video on these Glock 4422s. I hope I got everything and more and didn't leave nothing out. And I'm going to go back and uh, go back and check this out. And uh, if it's terrible, this last part, I got to figure out how to put it all together. If I put it all, I'll make it two or whatever. But uh, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all. I done went back, went over all the footage. I'm sorry it's a little windy there to start, but it clears up. It did clear up. But anyhow, I realized I did not shoot uh, the Stingers. The uh, 30, these are only 32 grain, 1640. I'm winded from running to the truck to grab stuff. It's getting late. It'll be all. And uh, I got one mag, the regular Seaside mini mag. But I didn't show you how the uh, Stingers run through it. Let's see if I can get that on. 
They didn't put it, go back and put it with it. I said this wouldn't be a shooting video when <laughs> it turned out to be all shooting. Oh well. Let's see. Okay. Mini mags first. And this is the 340 gun. And camera. Okay. Alright. How many I got left? So let's do the uh Stingers. The first round is going to be the uh, mini mag because I haven't uh, still in the chamber. All right, back to the regular mini mags. First one's going to be a, a stinger. Two rounds of the. Uh, Stingers left. All right. Had to get that in there. I know I hated that, so I had to get it in there. Long video. I think I'm just going to put it all together and roll with it. And uh, thanks for watching, y'all.